I've used Microsoft Forms for many years as both a teacher and an instructional designer. I didn't mind having to view the responses from within the form view or even as a spreadsheet that can populate new submissions in real time. However, I wondered if I could get notified via email when a new form response is submitted. I can. And better yet, it's possible to send an email to the submitter of the form. We'll take a look at why we might want to do that in this video. In this video, we will add a Power Automate flow when a list item is created or modified. Referring back to an earlier video, we had already created a form. This is for student enrollment purposes. We have a separate flow that sends the form responses to this list. And what we want to be able to do is to send an email to the submitter upon status changes. So in this list, we are going to add another column, and this is going to be a choice column with various uh, status updates. So the first is pending, the second will be awaiting more info, the third will be partial, partially processed, fully processed, and not processed. Change these colors a little bit because for fully processed, I don't want red or pink. I'm going to change this to green. And for the not process, that's fine. Keeping it like that. Let's have a default value of uh, pending, especially since this column is not one of the questions and answers in the form. So nothing will uh, be generated here from the form. However, when we do get a form response, the default value will change to pending. Let's call this status and choice. That's all good and save. Okay, so now what we wanna do is create a new flow. So let's choose create. This will be an automated cloud flow and let's call this status update student enrollments. So the trigger needs to be when an item is created or modified an item is created or modified. That means that the original submitter will receive an email uh, upon the initial creation of the list item, uh, as well as subsequent modifications of the list item. Create, okay. And you'll notice that at first it uh, did not establish a connection, uh, but if you give it a couple seconds, it will likely establish it on its own. If it does not, then you need to establish the connection yourself. So the site address is instructional design team. List name is student enrollments for us. Next action um, and final action, this is a very simple flow, is to send an email. We will choose send an email v2, Office 365 Outlook. You will notice that I already have a connection this is a different connection. This is a different email address uh, from the connection that I had here in the creation or modification of an item. That is because that address is not actually a Microsoft 365 um, account. Um, so we need to be able to use one that is a 365 account um, in order to send the email. So let's go back into here. And this will be. Just a few changes as I have uh, continued to work with Power Automate over the last nine to 12 months. Uh, I notice here that there is no option to enter dynamic content uh, unless I check this advanced mode box. I'll click inside there again and choose the dynamic content. And what I want to search for would be the uh, creator or original submitter. I don't see this in the initial dropdown, so I'll click on see more. And I or um, created by email, email address of the user who created this item. So created by email, 
and I can state something like request update and I can use dynamic content to give it some sort of a unique identifier so the person knows which one it is. Um, I did not use the title column, um, but I could put in, let's say last name. In this case, th the uh, submitter will probably uh, remember which, um, which form they submitted based on the last name of the student. So I could say, and I'll keep this very simple, I could say hello, and then I'll enter dynamic content again and enter created by email. So if the person was jdoe at gmail.com, this would say hello jdoe at gmail.com. And I can say the status of this request is dynamic content for the status, the status value, and that will give the um, status, whether it's pending or awaiting more info, not processed or processed. And then after that, you can add other information in terms of what each one of those status values means um, and anything else that you want. So let's test this out. We'll save it, test it. We'll do that manually. And what I will do is submit the response. And this will be, never heard of that last name before. Just made it up. Of course, will be, this stands for nursing in Harrisburg. Submit. Okay, let's go back to the flow. We're waiting for that. Let's see if it was added. There it is. And you'll see here that we did not have in the other list items that it's a pending status. It shows up pending because that's what we chose as the default value. Student enrollment status update succeeded. And let's see if we received an email. Okay, so uh, from the previous video, we did receive, um, we did set it up so that within the list itself, we added automation where that um, I would receive um, an email showing that there was a new submission or a new list item created. Uh, and here, this is uh, from the flow that we just set up. Request update. This is the last name of the student. It says, hello, D. Lindy. The status of this request is pending. Now what I will do is go into the list item. So I, I click to select it and I can choose edit. And I'm going to change this from a status of pending to fully processed and save it. Now this means that I did whatever I needed to do in terms of adding or removing a, a student uh, from a course. So I changed it from pending to fully processed, save, and let's see if I receive um, another email. Now I'm receiving the email because I'm the one who submitted the form. In a real world situation, somebody else is submitting the form. So when I make this change, uh, of, of status updates, then that will be sent to the original submitter. And here is the next update. It says the status of this request is fully processed. So there you have it. We have a new flow that allows us to send an email when an item is created or modified. Thanks for checking out this video. Please stay tuned for future videos on Power Automate.